And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you an accelerate and slow down effect. Typical effect for music videos. I've got this simple dance clip right here and I want to apply it to it. It is a two part process. So let me create three clips with the cut tool C. Somewhere here where the camera zooms in, I want to have the first cut. And where it zooms out, I want to have the second. I'll leave the first element unaffected and the second one I want to have it slow down. So I click on it, speed and duration. And let me set it to 50%. Check the box for ripple edit. And it's important to set the time interpolation. So this drop down to optical flow. That gives it a little bit of a smooth slow down effect. Now we can simply apply it. Keep in mind that when you use this optical flow, you can't ramp these videos up or down anymore. And this effect that I'm going to show you for the third element, what we need to do is to find this icon in the top left corner of the element, then right click, time remapping, and we need the speed. And now we can use the pen tool. If you can't find the plus sign below your cursor now, just make this video channel a little bit bigger in the display. And now you should find a plus sign at some point, then left click to create kind of like an echo point here. And now we can use the cursor tool to drag it upwards so that it speeds up the clip. And now you can go to the top left and then drag this second half to the right hand side and this creates this ramping. So you can apply different speed options here. In this first example I'm going to ramp it down so it's going to start faster and then it's going to go down. But it's still going to be faster than the original. Let me just render it to show you what it looks like in a finished version. So and this is what it does. So at first we've got the element where the speed is normal, then it's going to get slowed down. And then we've got the speed up effect where it ramps down. We can also inverse the ramping so that it starts slower and then ramps up to a higher speed. Let me show you this as well. We simply create with the pen tool another anchor point. And then use the cursor tool to reposition the lines. Let me just close this one to the left and now we've got a ramp up effect. You don't necessarily have to render this last part. It should run smoothly on most computers, but especially the optical flow part, you need to render that to have it run smoothly. But this is it. This is how you can create this acceleration and slowdown effect that's often used in music videos and Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.